Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Thurns Hallman and Scott Selections here for Thursday, July 27th. For again, today's play of the day. Quick recap what happened yesterday. We had a loss in baseball at the Mets' first five team total over one and a half runs at minus 135 on DraftKings. Pretty rough beat there. Mets had a bunch of chances basically every inning, and Rodon found his way out of trouble every inning. Uh, the Mets went 0 for 5 with runners in scoring position and left six guys on base in the first five innings. To take matters worse, you saw Alonzo hit a sharp line drive right at somebody with a guy on second, two outs. You had Lindor, who had a sharp line drive right at somebody with one out first and second. Point is, the Mets made a lot of hard contact right at people, and the Mets had a lot of chances. I don't really think Rodon pitched that well, but he got out of it anyway, and the Mets left a lot of guys on base. So pick up a loss there, look for a winner here on Thursday. And for today's play today, going back to baseball, you're going to look at a matchup between the Guardians and the White Sox taking place at around 8 p.m. Eastern time. And for this game, we're going to take a first five total in this one. We're going to take the first five under four and a half at minus 115 on bet 365. Time recording of 2.30 a.m. Eastern time. Covering is why we're going to take the first five under in this game. First reason, both teams really bad offensively in the first five innings, as the Guardians are averaging just 2.18 runs per game in the first five, which is the fourth fewest in the league. And the White Sox have been really bad offensively at home this season in the first five, as the White Sox are averaging just 1.94 runs per home game in the first five, which is the third fewest in the league. On top of that, you have two really good pitchers on the mound. You have Bybee pitching for Cleveland, who's quietly been really, really good uh, in the last month. Last five starts, 29 and two-thirds innings pitched, a 1.21 ERA, and he's been really consistent. Uh, Bybee has allowed less than three runs in each of his last five starts. So the point is, I do think he should pitch well. I'm not sure how long he's going to go, but as a result, I'm going to take the first five because I really don't trust either bullpen in this matchup. But Bybee's been good. I think he should pitch well again against a pretty underwhelming offense. Meanwhile, you have Cease pitching for Chicago. The rotation is not great, but Cease is one of their better options. And he's been really good lately. Last two starts, 11 innings pitched, a 1.64 ERA. So he has kind of found something lately, and I'm hoping he can continue that in this matchup. Plus, if you want to look at the actual head-to-head meetings recently between these teams, each of the last four meetings have had less than seven total runs. So neither team really gets much going offensively based on what we've seen lately in the head-to-head meetings, and I do think that should be the case once again. But simply put, with two really bad offenses in the first five and two really solid pitchers, once again, Bybee with a 1.21 ERA in his last five starts, and Cease, we know what he's capable of. I know he's been a bit underwhelming so far this season in general, but it does seem like he's kind of found something over the last two outings, and we know Cleveland offensively is not one of the best units, let's put it that way. I think you should see a pretty low-scoring game early on between two solid pitchers. Maybe 2-1, maybe 2-2, but 4.5 does feel a little bit high, and as a result, I'm going to take it now before the line moves. Play that once again here for Thursday, July 27th. is going to be on the Guardians and White Sox. First five under, 4.5 runs and minus 115 on Bet365. Bye, everyone.